So Habakkuk was a prophet in the Old Testament, and uh, he was born in such a time when uh, Israel, you know, was going through some very hard times. There was this violence. There was violence. There was this unrighteousness happening. There were so many injustices happening in uh, Israel. So he asks this question to God, saying. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? You know, Habakkuk has been praying for uh, peace in uh, Habakkuk has been praying for peace in uh, Israel. He been he been praying for uh, you know for for a breakthrough in his birth, you know, in his place. He he has been praying for so many things, you know, for Lord to intervene in the situation that they are in, but um, God does not answer it. Maybe some of us are asking the same question to God, saying, "Lord, uh, how long must I wait for my prayers to be answered? Lord, how long must I wait for, you know, for a breakthrough? Or maybe you prayed for something and uh, you know that that didn't happen still." So, uh, Habakkuk asked the same question, and this is what the Lord replies in the book of Habakkuk, in chapter one, verse five. It says that, "Look at the nations and watch, and be utterly amazed, for I am going to do something in your days." that you would not believe even if you were told god says that he would do something amazing you know and though he tells him though god tells habakkuk god tells that you would never understand and there are things that we cannot understand you know we, maybe you and i we've been praying for something and other uh, things you know you're not seeing breakthrough you're not seeing healing in your family uh, Maybe there are things that you are not understanding. Saying, "Lord, I don't understand the things that is going around in my life," and you're not alone, church. You know, you're not alone. And the, even the prophets, you know, they were confused. You know, they didn't know what was happening. You know, with their prayer, and uh, they were not, uh, they were not uh, getting the breakthrough that they needed. So here's something that we need to learn: that uh, it's okay to ask from the Lord, and also we should also know that we need to. Learn to wait upon the Lord. On Habakkuk chapter three, now uh, verse seventeen, we find that now uh, Habakkuk changes his tone from complaining to worship. So, thirdly, uh, I pray that we would learn, you know, to rejoice in the Lord even during the time of troubles, even during the time of hardship, even though we don't see our prayers getting answered. Because Habakkuk writes in chapter three, verse seventeen, and that though the olive crop Fails and the field produces no food. Though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. That's what Habakkuk is saying. So Habakkuk is saying that though I don't see, you know, fruits in my life, though I don't see results in my life, yet I would continue to trust in you because, in midst of every trials and struggles that I'm facing, you are my strength. He's saying that in midst of every trouble, trouble and struggles, you are my strength, and you are the one who gives me strength. So I'll keep on trusting you. I pray that you and I would find strength in the Lord, that you and I would continue to uh, trust in the Lord, knowing that God will orchestrate everything for our good, knowing that God has been faithful till today, and He would continue being faithful in our life even in the coming days. I pray that we would continue uh, to never give up on God because He has never given up on us. Uh, no, always seek the Lord and learn to wait upon Him. And as you learn to wait upon Him, rejoice in the Lord and keep on trusting in the Lord, knowing that God is at work. Though we, we might not understand everything that is going around in our life, Amen. God bless us all.